How you doing? I am Raul. I'm a tissue tech recovery. And I'm Brandon. I'm the same thing as him. <laughs> Four kids. Alright. How to start off my days, I'll receive a call, whether I'm at home or in the office, um, what we're going to be recovering. At that point, I'll call Brandon, the team member, and also uh, another team member, and let them know what what to pack up for that case. So when I get the call from him early in the morning, um, what I'll do is I'll come in here, I'll pack for ice to make sure that the tissue stays cold. Everything's pretty much already pre-packed for us because of Tony. Thank you, Tony. Um, but for us, what I'll get is our protective equipment, so our surgical gear, some of our sterile equipment, um, because what we're doing is honestly a surgery. If the case is local, here in Dallas, we'll drive. If it's not, then we can fly out to Corpus, El Paso, uh, sometimes Belmont. The gift of donation from the donor to recipient include muscle, tendons, bones, skin, uh, heart valves. Uh, for instance, the heart valves saves lives of babies. The skin is used to save the lives of burned patients. The gift of bone and tendon are used for sport injuries and also traumatic injuries. So once we arrive to the operating room, uh, team members will set up the supplies. I'll bring the donor up to the oper operating room. Um, from there, um, we'll start our prep, we'll start our drape, and then we'll start our recovery on the donor. Hi, I'm Laura and I'm tissue recovery technician. Now I'm going to be setting up our back table. Each technician is, will work on the right and left, so they will get their own instruments on each side. During our recoveries, we do require a high degree of sterility and precision uh, to maximize the gifts of our donors. A tissue recovery is a complex surgical procedure and can take you know, anywhere from four to eight hours. We are part of the community. We have friends and family who donate, and there was just one time where I recovered on someone that I knew. I had the option to stay or leave, so I stayed because I wanted to honor this person by seeing through their gift of life. Our relationship with our donors does not end here in the operating room. After our recovery, all of our donor families receive a donor medal and an aftercare letter. And once we're done with the recovery, we partner with the funeral homes because it's very important to us for the family's wishes to be honored. Some people ask me, how do you do what you do? Honestly, it's because I know that what I do saves lives. Um, at the end of the day, what I do, it saves lives. 